If you wanted to get your hands on a free photo editing program a decade ago, your best option was Paint. But now there's tens if not hundreds of free programs available where you can both edit your photos and create graphics. So which ones are the best? Today we're going to talk about it. What's up guys, Iogo here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Now today I have a special video. Today's video is actually a collaboration with Muaz, who is also a YouTube tips and tutorials channel. So I'll link him down below. But today we're going to be talking about our top five favorite photo editors that you can get both on Windows and Mac for absolutely free. We've covered a wide variety of programs. So whether you're looking for basic photo editing or graphic design, we're going to be going over the pros and cons of our favorite programs so you can find the perfect one for you. And with that being said, let's get started. Now, the first program I want to talk about is my personal favorite, and that program is Canva. Now, Canva is actually a web application where you can make a ton of different graphics or edit your photos. What I really like about Canva is the fact that they have a ton of pre-made templates available, whether you're looking to create a YouTube banner, social media posts, a brochure, a newsletter, I think it's the perfect application for creating publication material because there's so many templates available and it's a very easy program to use. What's great about Canva is that it is completely web-based and so you don't need a powerful computer and they also have a mobile application so you can use it on your phone and tablet as well. Apart from tons and tons of templates they have available, you can also access a lot of the free graphics that they have within the program. So if you're looking for icons or images, you can find them directly within Canva as well. And so having all of these pre-built templates and icons that you can use allows you to create a bunch of publication material within minutes. I actually have a tutorial where I teach you guys how to use Canva in under 10 minutes and I'll link it down below along with the other programs that we're going to be talking about in this video. Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome to my part of the video. So just like Zayovo just did, I'm going to be listing off some of my personal favorite free photo editing softwares that you guys should definitely check out. So let's get started. I want to open off my part of the video with Photopea, which is honestly my favorite out of the entire list. I'm just going to start off with this one right away. Um, it's essentially Photoshop, but you don't have to do any downloads for it at all. It's completely web-based and you can use it all directly from your web browser, whether it's like Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Edge, whatever, it works directly just from that. And I personally think that's just so awesome because on the chance that you have like a low-end PC and your computer lags whenever you try to use Photoshop, or maybe you just can't afford it, this is like a great alternative for you. It's basically like a browser-based version of Photoshop, which that itself, like that sentence itself, is still mind-blowing to me, but the cool thing about it is that it can actually open up Photoshop project files. So on the chance that you want to download like Photoshop templates for like thumbnails if you're a YouTuber or channel banners or really whatever you want to do, right? You don't need to buy Photoshop to actually use them. You can literally open them up in Photopea, which is really cool. And another like photo editing software that's completely free that I didn't even plan on naming, but it has like the same overall concept as Photopea, so I thought I might as well name it, is called Pixlr E. And they're honestly both fantastic browser-based versions of Photoshop. So try them both, see what you know like more, and then maybe pick that one going forward as your like Photoshop alternative. But honestly, I personally think these two are like my personal favorite out of the entire list. But let's move on from that now. Next up on the list, we have Kapwing. Now Kapwing is the simplest editor on this list, but just because it's simple, doesn't mean that it doesn't have a lot of features. With Kapwing, you can do all of your basic edits all completely online. So you can resize your images, add different colors, shapes, and text to your image. And one thing that's really cool about Kapwing is that you can also remove the background for your photos. So if you're looking to make one or two alterations to your photos and you wanna do them very quickly without downloading anything, then Kapwing is the perfect choice for you. So moving on, we have paint.net, which is actually one of Zayovo's like personal longtime favorites. And it's really cool because it's a photo editor and it's completely open source. It will have all the functionality and tools available for you to do both photo editing and creative editing. And one of my favorite things about paint.net is that it's actually overall pretty straightforward and very easy to use. Um, something cool about it is that you don't need as powerful of a computer to use paint.net whereas you would if you want to use something like GIMP. Now before we move on to the last program on this list, I'm also going to be giving two honorable mentions and the first one goes to Krita. Now Krita is a great image editor and the reason it's an honorable mention is because it's very specific and intended to be used by artists. So if you're looking to make sprites or do drawings, then Krita is a great option for you. 
And the second honorable mention on this list is Photoshop Express. And this isn't the full version of Photoshop because this video is meant to cover Photoshop alternatives, but Photoshop Express deserves a place on this list because it is free and it's a great choice for someone that's looking to do photo editing or create collages on their mobile device because it is an app that you can download on the Android or Apple App Store. And so if you're looking for something that's more basic and available on mobile, then Photoshop Express is a great choice for you. And the final program on this list is GIMP. And I'm sure you've heard about GIMP before, but GIMP continues to be one of the best free photo editing programs available because of how many features it has. It's similar to paint.net in the sense that you have to download it and it has a lot of the functionality that Photoshop also has. But what makes GIMP stand out from paint.net is that it has a lot more advanced features. So if you're looking to do a lot of creative edits, such as masking and color correction, then GIMP is the best choice because it has a lot more features than paint.net and it's also downloadable. Now, since GIMP is more feature packed than paint.net, you have to make two compromises. The first one is that you do require more processing power and you do need a higher end computer to be able to run it really smoothly. So it's not as lightweight as paint.net. And the second thing is that the interface does take some time to get used to. When you read reviews about GIMP.net, you know, a lot of people say that it's not a very familiar interface, but if you're someone that wants to learn just one program that has all of the features, then this learning curve is absolutely worth it. And once you learn GIMP, you won't need to change programs ever again. But those are all the programs we have to share with you. And that's about it for this video. Make sure to check out Moaz. I'll link him down below in the description. And if you guys did like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.